Then I went to uh, TJ Maxx. Anybody been to this nightmare? What do you, own the joint? Yeah! I walked into TJ, I thought I walked into downtown Beirut. I thought a bomb went off at this store. Everything is on the floor. How are they shopping at that store? What are they, pulling stuff off the shelf? Yeah, this is not my size. I went looking for jeans. I heard they had cheap jeans at TJ. So I'm in the store shopping. <laughs> I found a pair in housewares. Stamped irregular. Anybody buying irregular clothing? Ever see that irregular stamp here? Now you gotta lay it out. You gotta find out what the hell happened. Why are these a dollar? Because originally $98, now a buck. You gotta find out why $97 been knocked off the pan. And if you're like me, you look at them, you're like, what? I can't find it. I can't find the problem. I found a treasure. Till you get to that fitting room. By the way, try it on wherever you find it. You go to the fitting room, no drape, no door, nothing. People walking by. Uh, I went to go get the zipper, the button, all this stuff wasn't even here. I found that right here on the calf. You ever see the people that got working at the store? Irregular. Is there even an interview over there? I just give them a vest. Here, go, walk around the store. Went to the underwear section. All the underwear is boxed. The box has been ripped open so many times. They gotta duct tape them shut. You don't even know what the hell you're buying. I took a gamble. CK, boxer briefs, for 39 cents. I brought them home. I cut the box open. It's a set of forks. Then I went to Kmart. Whatever you people feel like doing at Kmart, do it. You get a little thirsty, pop something open. 